So Banana Republic released a fragrance that has two of my favorite notes in the name, tobacco and tonka bean. Is this fragrance gonna be any good? Stay tuned and find out. What's up YouTube, it's Rebecca with a quick video, back in with another unboxing, first impressions, and possible update video, depending on how this half of the um, video goes. Um, it was going to be a cheap but good fragrance, uh, but I've been looking at some of the prices online, and, and this fragrance has actually shot up quite a bit in price, almost triple the price that I think um, was, was uh, they are selling this one for. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but uh, from the house of Banana Republic, we have tobacco and tonka bean. This is one of the two that everyone was talking about because I believe uh, I did a I did a, a video over the summer of I believe it was called it was the cherry one. I'll put a picture of it right here. But it was the cherry one out of the line that uh, everyone was really talking about, and that one was pretty good. It had some cherry and some praline, a few other things, maybe some woods. But this is the other one that everyone was really talking about from the line. That just because they, um, you know, uh, like I mentioned in the intro, uh, tobacco and tonka bean are two of my favorite notes. And so to have them in one fragrance and to be in the title really probably says it's going to be um, pretty prominent in the fragrance. Um, I've, had, I've heard a couple of things over the years about this fragrance. Um, one, some people were saying it was really weak. Some people were saying it doesn't really uh, match the name. Like there is tobacco and stuff in it, but it's not like predominantly tobacco or tonka bean. So, so before I get into the information about the fragrance, I do want to get into, uh, the presentation just real quick. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. Um, but here is the box. I do love the presentations from this line. Uh, I think I mentioned in my, uh, my, the cherry video and I'll link that one down below, uh, that I did like quite a few from the, um, from the, the black box line. Um, and for some reason these were different colored. I, I don't know why. Maybe they're a little more special um but here is the um outer box here nice and heavy and sturdy um this one's just kind of purple um and i will get to the notes here in a minute but i do believe that the uh, purple has something to do with one of the notes in the uh, fragrance so we do have a nice little cut out here so the, bo the bottle can lay in there and uh here we have the uh bottle nice purple bottle nice dark purple white label says tobacco and tonka bean uh Heavy gray cap here, does have like a grommet here, like a stopper. Uh, gray atomizer, uh, nice, uh, sturdy, heavy, nice looking bottle from the House of Banana Republic. So tobacco and tonka bean from the House of Banana Republic is a unisex amber spicy fragrance released in 2019. The notes behind this fragrance is Gino Percatino. It is an eau de parfum concentration. The notes for this fragrance um, did sound really nice. The notes for this fragrance in the top, we have plum and pear. In the middle, we have tobacco. Uh, tobacco leaf and coconut and in the base run things off with tonka bean and vanilla so yeah this uh this note breakdown does sound really good and uh really uh it, you know um really piqued my interest when i saw that knowing that it has coconut not really sure where it's going to go with that I, I don't think i see too many fragrances with tobacco and coconut especially mixing them with plum and and some uh, vanilla and tonka bean but we'll, we'll see i'm sure it's nice some um, sure, it's not that bad of a fragrance, uh, but yeah, like I, I did mention before that you know people were buying this one at Burlington Coat Factory or Burlington for around twenty bucks, I think twenty twenty five bucks, something like that, for a two point five ounce bottle. And now I just looked on uh, Fragrance Net; it's seventy two seventy four on Fragrance Net as of this video. Uh, Sixty bucks on Amazon and fifty dollars on eBay. eBay was probably about the best price I could find on there. So um, th those are like retail prices, if if not maybe a little less, but. Um, I was going to try to say this would be a possible cheap but good fragrance, but uh, I don't know. I'm guessing this one's getting harder to find, or uh, maybe Burlington stopped carrying it, or maybe they're the only uh, people that actually uh, sold it for that low of a price. But if uh, I, I, obviously I can't call it that right now because if it's uh, going for 60 bucks online or 70 bucks, then it's definitely not going to be a cheap but good fragrance. It might be a good fragrance. We'll see. We're looking forward to trying this fragrance, so let's give this fragrance a first impression. All right, here we go. Clean hand, a couple sprays. Okay. Hmm. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the cherry one. Not saying it smells like it. I'm saying it sort of has the same dark and sweetness. It's sort of a deeper, darker, and sweeter and fruity. This one sort of has the same sort of feel to it. This one has the plum note. We get the vanilla, so it's sweet. The pear notes making it fruity. The plum and the pear is making it fruity. The tob uh, tobacco um, leaf is pro it, it's there, but it's not prominent. This one, uh, I'm I'm getting the coconut as well. This smells a little familiar 
with that coconut note, but nothing I can think of right off the bat. But maybe, actually, you know what? This does remind me of the, the Zara fragrance that came out, Rich, Warm, and Addictive, that came out a while back. It was tobacco something or other. This sort of reminds me of that. A little bit with that coconut note and that fragrance everyone raved about that fragrance i remember people were really uh some fragrance reviewers were really hyping that one up it was a nice fragrance but it, it didn't last nearly long enough or nearly as long as it could have i'm surprised that someone hasn't come in and taken that uh and maybe they have but i just haven't got my nose on it yet but somebody hasn't come in and taken that formula and just made it super strong they could bank off of that this smells like that that rich warm addictive whatever it's called from zara because that one, I believe, does have tobacco and coconut. I don't know if it has plum or pear, but I believe it has some vanilla in it too. But not awful. Now it's getting a little more masculine now. I think the tobacco is really coming. Now it says tobacco leaf. And when I think of tobacco leaf, I think of like the wet tobacco leaves. It's sort of like resinous or, or like just sort of, um, I don't know how to really say it. It's sort of like a, like a yeah, kind of like a wet uh, leaf type of smell, but it just has that tobacco sort of feel to it. I'm really getting more of a dry tobacco right now. More of a masculine dry tobacco with this one. But it's nice. The plum note is still there. It's not as sweet as it was in the opening. The coconut note is fading. I'm really left with a lot of tonka bean. Uh, more tobacco leaf. But uh, tobacco leaf and tonka. And vanilla. Which I guess uh, suits the name. So that's probably why they named it that. I mean the coconut's still there. Don't get me wrong. And I want to say that Rich Warm Addictive sort of had like a Coca-Cola vibe. I'm getting a little bit of that. Not really saying that's what it smells like predominantly. Just saying a little bit of that like soda pop sort of sweetness that, that, that was in that one. But not a bad little fragrance. Uh, it's, it's not as cool today as it's been the last couple of weeks. So, But I think it should, be, it should still be okay. This one really isn't like booming or like super thick or strong. So I think I'm not really going to be offending anybody. But I, th I think this would do nice in 75 degree weather like it is right now. But we'll get to the more on that in the, in the update. But uh, yeah, it's a nice fragrance. I, I, I kind of like this one, actually. Um, I would love to see if I could get my hands on the Zara again so I could you know, compare them side by side. I want to say that one had a stronger coconut note, more of a rum and Coke type of thing. That's, that's probably what I meant by the Coca-Cola. I meant rum and Coke. Because the coconut leaf, or I'm sorry, the, the, the coconut, ha uh, I think there's coconut and rum. You guys can correct me in the comments. So whenever I smell... Coconut mixed with sweet notes. Sometimes it smells like a boozy sort of rum. And I, I'm getting a little bit of that boozy rumness with this, if you want to call it rumness, uh, booziness from this, which I like. This is this is a pretty good little fragrance right now. Again, we'll get to if it's worth $72. Uh, you can probably already guess what I'm going to say, but I, I'll leave you guys at the, on the edges of your seats and I'll say that in the update here. But, but right now, this does have a really nice opening. And if you liked the Zara fragrance, you're probably gonna like this one, but we'll, I'll let this one cook on my skin a little bit, sit there, uh, let it sit there for a while. Uh, wear this today. I haven't worn anything yet. So I'm going to put this on, uh, right after I stop filming the video and make it my sound of the day. Wear it the next, uh, over the next few days. Give you guys another day shortly. Talk to you then. Hey, what's up guys? Just want to bring you guys a quick update on the tobacco and tonka bean from the house of Banana Republic. And I gotta say, I do actually like this fragrance. Um, it's kind of funny. I joked around in the first half of the video saying, you know, maybe someone should come out and steal the recipe from uh, Zara and come up with a better version of this. I think maybe Banana Republic actually did do that because now I didn't have, have them side by side. But this fragrance really does remind me of that Zara fragrance um, enough for me to really say that, that maybe they went in and swooped in and... and um, took the uh, formulation or whatever you want to call it, the, the, the compounds to make this fragrance, um, or, or maybe not. But um, I do know that Zara is a big company and so is Banana Republic. They're both sell clothing. So, you know, maybe maybe they shared something or other. I have no idea. But I do know, I, I do think this does remind me of the rich, warm, addictive fragrance that I mentioned in the first half of the video. Um, and I wish I had that one still so I can compare them side by side, but I cannot. But just going off of memory, I do think this one smells like that fragrance. And if you did like this fragrance, you're going to like this one. Um, now, I did get better performance out of this fragrance. The longevity um, wasn't uh, all day long, although someone can argue with that. I like to be safe and just say six to eight hours, depending on how many sprays you use. Although I will say the next day, because I wore this out the night before, um, and I stayed out kind of late, so I just 
came home, went to bed, woke up, and didn't shower uh, the next day to go to work. Uh, I was still clean. Uh, but uh, I actually did smell this one coming off of me when, it, when the day warmed up. So you guys can do with uh, what you want with that information. Uh, but I'm going to just be safe and say six to eight hours, depending on what you spray. The... Um, Projection of this fragrance, the Siage, wasn't a beast mode by any means, it, but I did get nice wafts. The first couple of hours were, uh, I'm going to say, kind of heavy, uh, close though. Um, but but uh, if you're not careful with this fragrance, if you apply too much, it might be a little cloying. That coconut note is very um, strong, even though I think I even mentioned the coconut, the coconut note was fading. It did stay with this fragrance throughout uh, the life of it, honestly, in my opinion. I, I did... Uh, get that coconut note and that rum sort of boozy feel for this fragrance throughout the life of this fragrance And that is the best part, but if, if um, you uh, that might be a little cloying like I said or just might it might get a little annoying after a while if that if that because it can come off a little pungent uh, The occasions for this fragrance. I do think this would be a nice date night fragrance evening out I think you can wear this one casually on a, a cool day um, so maybe you can wear this one anywhere you like. I, I think you can probably get away with this one at work. It's not going to offend anybody around you. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say you can wear this one pretty much any time, day or night, really. It's it's a nice, safe fragrance. It's also kind of sexy, too. It's it's, uh, it's not a beast mode projector, but, you know, it's, it's uh, you know if you're on a date or something, sitting on the couch watching a movie, your date is going to like this fragrance on you. Um, I do think this one leans slightly more masculine, but I can see where it is a bit more fe or, or feminine as well. Not a bit more, just a bit feminine as well. Uh, something in this does give it a bit of a perfumey take. I'm not really sure if it's that coconut note or not, but something in it does. Um, ages for this fragrance, I'm going to say, are, you know, I would say maybe 20, 20, 25 and up. The price on this one at Burlington was 20, 25 bucks. Online, it's going for 60, so not really a cheap but good fragrance. I can't really say if you can find it for that price, maybe. But uh, younger guys can easily afford this fragrance. Um, they can probably pull it off. I just don't know if they're going to like the tobacco and tonka bean coconut mix, uh, but safe to say 20, 25. Uh, would be a good age range for this fragrance. Seasons, I do think, would be good, uh, perfect for the fall. I do think you can get away with this one in warmer weather, so spring as well. Uh, might be a bit much, a bit too sweet for summertime in the high heat, uh, but I think this one might be good for um, fall, um, winter, and early spring, where it's you know cool, slightly warm, uh, but not too hot. I think this one might be little bit too much but uh, overall I do like this fragrance if you can find it for a good price I do think you should actually just pull the trigger on it because I don't think that um, uh, Burlington has tester bottles so if you find this for 20 25 bucks you might want to get it I think that you're really gonna like this fragrance is it worth 50 60 70 uh, I don't think so unless you really like that rich warm addictive DNA and you're like man I don't care this one as he said this one's stronger than that one, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger. That's on you guys. I want you guys to make that decision on your own. I can't say that, uh, but I don't know. I don't think I would. Um, if I found another bottle of this at Burlington, I'd probably buy a backup for that price and, that, and leave it at that. But this is a good fragrance, and this one definitely is my favorite out of the entire Banana Republic line. Uh, second favorite would be, I guess, that that cherry one, and then uh, probably vintage green, even though that one only lasts like 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, guys, this is going to be the darling of the line. Um, pick it up for a cheap price if you can. Um, but yeah, have you tried this fragrance? Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. Cause I'd love to know what you guys think about this fragrance um, because I, I really like it. And um, I can't see a lot of people not liking it, especially since Rich Warm Addictive got such high praise uh, a few years ago, you know, and this one is pretty much the same thing. And I, I would challenge it or, you know, even argue that um, it might be a little bit stronger and a better version of that one. So who knows? Um, but guys, this is just my skin, my skin chemistry. I know everyone's different. Don't kill me in the comments if this one lasts five minutes on your skin. I'm not trying to hype this one up. I'm telling you, this is my experience. I've worn it for, I think, four or five days now. So, and I've gotten the same. Uh, every time I wore this fragrance. So this is uh, not a bad fragrance, guys. So thank you guys for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and fragrance excited content just like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Dollars and Cents. There, you find fragrance excited photos and future contest winners. And as always, till next video, you guys take care. Thanks.